Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Cut Screens where we talk about Dragon Ball and other animes also. So if you are interested in anime don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. In today's video we are going to discuss about the story of Dragon Ball Super Broly. The story of the movie starts with Frieza's army. Frieza visits planet Vegeta along with his father King Cold. Frieza starts to execute the Saiyajins whose power level are more than 2000 to assure that any of Saiyajins cannot harm him in future. Now let's talk about King Vegeta who is very prideful to his son and believes that his son will surpass each and every Saiyajins when he will grow and evolve in future. But son of another Saiyajin Paragus named Broly born with Ultra Legend power skills. King Vegeta felt jealous about this, he thought I am a king, so my boy should be strongest among all the Saiyajins, not my Serban's boy so King Vegeta called Broly's father to his court and said I want to see my Vegeta becoming strongest among all but at the present of your boy this is not possible, so what to do in this matter? Instead of killing Broly King Vegeta sent Broly to the planet Vampo which is in the edge of the universe to assure he will never returning to the Saiyajins in future. And he did it not informing Paragus, but Paragus find out his son Broly in planet Vampo with the help of his friend, they became happy to see Broly alive, and Paragus checks Broly if he is wounded, then he think about getting out of planet Vampa, but Paragus and his friend find their spaceship broken, they were stuck in the edge of the universe and in a planet with no food and dangerous creatures, now becoming mood off Paragus killed his friend. Now Bardock makes his entry, Bardock had a bad feeling about Frieza's plans, then he goes to Goku's mom, they decide to send their son Kakarot in planet Earth for his safety, this was the most emotional moment when Bardock and Goku's mom were sending him, Goku's mom asked Bardock if they can meet Kakarot again. Just sometimes after this Frieza destroys the full planet Vegeta. But Nappa Vegeta and Raditz were in another planet back then, so they survived. Now the movie comes into today's date, where Wiss was busy to eat. Beerus was resting and... Goku and Vegeta were fighting themselves, and here I want to say Beerus has absolutely no role in the entire Broly movie. Suddenly Bulma came to know her Dragon Balls were stolen, but she had only six so she set out to find the seventh ball with Goku Vegeta and Whis. In the movie Goku behaves fully like the idiot as he is by disturbing Bulma and others. He is not even seen to be that person with Ultra Instinct. And yet, Bulma was finding the Dragon Balls to decrease her age by 5 years, and, who stolen Bulma's Dragon Ball were Frieza's men, cause Frieza wanted to increase his tail by 5 cm. Now Chiri and Limo the two from Frieza's army found Broly and his father in Planet Vampa. The just got surprised by Broly's unmeasurable power level. They bring Broly and Paragus to Frieza. The first entry of Grown Up Broly was just awesome, later check out in movie yourself, and Paragus became old with white hairs. In Frieza's ship, Chiri and Broly became very good friends and have a nice bond, Chiri began to care about Broly and his power, she thought that Lord Frieza may misuse his powers, she realizes that instead of becoming so powerful Broly is very good-hearted and innocent. Frieza and his army comes to the earth in the ice for the Dragon Balls, Goku Vegeta Whis and Bulma were also there, Frieza took Broly and Paragus with them, 
Paragus identifies Vegeta and thought about revenge, so he ordered Broly to attack Prince Vegeta. Broly was extremely powerful but he didn't aware about it. He never trained or have a fair fight before, so first he took some damages from Vegeta, but then we see the Broly's rage. It was tremendous, now Kakarot was fighting Broly. In the meantime Frieza kills Paragus and blame Goku to Broly, now Broly was at his full rage. Unstoppable, unbeatable, Goku and Vegeta can't stop him in any way, so Goku uses instant transmission and went to Piccolo to learn the fusion technique. Having seen Noon Broly starts fighting with Frieza, there was no ice anymore, the environment was red, magma was coming out from Earth and Frieza was beating. Now Gogeta, the fusion of Goku and Vegeta enters, and tell Frieza that we will deal with you later, then Gogeta and Broly begun to fight. I want to say Gogeta was awesome back there while fighting Broly he was a worthy opponent. In the middle, Chiri and Limo steals the Dragon Ball and wish to send Broly back to Planet Bampa, as soon as they also went to Planet Bampa. During fight, Goku understood that Broly was not a bad guy, he finds Broly's key and went to Planet Bampa and give Broly and his friends, some food home, and Senzo beans, all behaves like friends back there. And Goku said to Broly that he was the strongest Panath Goku ever seen, probably he was stronger than Beerus the god of destruction. Then Goku bid him goodbye, and get back to planet Earth.